Hello everyone and welcome back here to the Rimworld. We join our intrepid adventurers Hay House the Hunter, Lane the Settler and Tawi the Commissar as they they struggle to rebuild their life here in the Rimworld. So in the last episode we got the basic set up. We've uh, made ourselves a, a little living area We've started digging out this area, and in fact, while I'm thinking about it, uh, orders, mine, there it is. Let's put some doorways in here. No reason why we can't have those rooms now. Especially as, in the last episode, we captured Val the Hunter, uh, Val the, uh, the tribesman. He's a chief. And... Yes, and uh, we are intending to turn him to our side. Um, not very good, but I'm sure we will find a use for him. Admittedly, we have incurred the wrath of the uh, the uh, Canto Brexius Toll by uh, capturing him, but quite frankly, I think we're going to need the people, because this is a tough climb. Alright, so let's speed things up and let's get the day running. Uh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, zone, let's just expand that zone out a bit. Like that. And we can get another door in there. There we go. And. While we're thinking about it, let's get some of these. It's basically, oh, okay, yes, because that's uh, not just not a wall, is it? So let's get that out. Orders, mine. Let's mine that out. We'll replace that with a wall. It'll look neater if nothing else, anyway. So there's our first bedroom. And we do it for wood. Plenty of wood. So let's make a wooden door and. We will also put in there uh, furniture, a wooden bed, and a standing lamp, and for that we're also going to need to put in some power lines, and it looks like we've been attacked. So we'll run a power line up there, we're going to need to connect that to something. So. We'll just run it down through the building like that. That'll do. Local squirrel has gone mad. Okay, we can live with that. So, all right, we got some food coming in. We're about to have a bit of squirrel to coming in as well. So, more food. These are not working very well, unfortunately. But we, I think what we will actually do is we will put in a couple of solar generators as well. So if we just put one, two, and let's also chuck in a battery. Just stick one there. And that will help provide a buffer for when the wind is not blowing very much or when it's dark or when there's an eclipse or something equally fun. So structure... Actually, let's make a conduit wall. Come on. There we go. And in there, we will put in one and two coolers. That will start up our refrigeration. A group from Honesty's Mesa are visiting. Colonists needs treatment. Okay, Lane. Um... Let's make this a medical bed. There we go. There we go. You go and lay down. Who is the uh, the healer? It's Hay House. Golly good. And there goes Hay House to uh, to heal. Laying up. Excellent. So we'll set that as non medical. And deconstruct that. There we go. Right. 
Okay, this is coming together quite well. We've got some food coming in. Not much hauling going on, but there's not much people to do the hauling. I'm hoping to get Val to do a lot of that. What state is that? A sandstone club. Okay, we'll have that. There we go. We just need to get these uh, these bedrooms sorted out. And so, structure, wooden doors here, and here, and we can have a wooden bed there, and standing lamps there, and there, and a bit more power, more power, no, not standing lamps, actually, we could actually use some standing lamps here, couldn't we? Let's put one here, and let's put one here, and we'll extend that car conduit up to the end there like that. So, the pirates from Vengeance Band have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. So where are they? Ian. Yes, Ian. No disrespect to Ian's out there, but it's, it's, it's not a name that fills one with terror. Okay, let's... Watch him as he, he he wends his merry way towards us. Ooh. Lots of meat there. As soon as we get the refrigerators sorted out, we are going to start doing a lot of hunting. And then we got we got a nice buffer of uh, power now. Even when the wind is not blowing, which uh, seems to be something new, is that the wind appears to be variable. Where's 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 Ian the Buccaneer? There he is, making his long, slow way around to our encampment. Oh well, it's their problem, not mine. Okay, so what are we doing now? Okay, we've got the, this room set up. We've nearly got the refrigeration area set up. That's important. Once we've got that set up, we can start seriously thinking about uh, storing food. We need to get more hauling done. And yeah, I'm still going to wait on Val, I think, until I get hauling done. And what state is he in? Yeah, he's 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 getting close to being recruited. Right, come on, let's speed these up. Oh, looks like Ian's got a bit distracted there. Okay. Well, I'm sorry about that, Blur. I'm very sorry about that, but... Uh, huh, what can I do? What can I do? No oh idea. Right. Walls coming up. Okay, excellent. So we should refrigerate that one down to 21 degrees centigrade. That looks good. And this one is lacking power. Let's stick a bit of power across to it there. And this one, we shall get it to refrigerate down to, no, minus one. We'll turn that off until the wall is actually running. Because otherwise it's just gonna freeze this, in, freeze this entire area, which is not exactly what we want. I'd like people to start holding this stuff around here, but uh, can't do that just yet because uh, I want the food hauled first. And there's not much hauling going on. A group of archaeologists stream are visiting. Do not care. And I, hey, Hal seems to be liking his new bed. Okay, so we are nearly done. In fact, I think we're going to power this on now. Because I, that, that wall's got materials in it, so it's actually going to count as a block. So the temperature in here is 22. The temperature in here is not quite freezing yet. I don't think that one on its own... No, it's not going to be quite enough until it gets much cooler. So we'll stick another one of those in. Like that. 
I can get both of them to uh, set the temperature to minus one. And that will more than do the trick. Problem is, all that heat out of here into here is going to make this room hot. But we'll see how we go with that at the moment. So, so the temperature in here is quite cool. 20 minus minus one. There we go. So yeah, we go. That's going down. That's nice and comfortable. Minus one in here. Okay, it's 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 warm, but not hugely hot in here. It's getting towards hugely hot. So one last one. Just to cool this room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and. Yes, that one, all we want to want to do is try to keep this room down to about 21 degrees, which it seems to be doing relatively well. That one's still a bit too hot, but as we dig these tunnels, that's just going to get cooler and cooler and cooler. That's not a problem. And holding is happening. Yay. Okay, so we are getting close to uh, being organized here. Not having much luck with Val. Cluster of cargo pods. That's oh, that's fairly close. Let's have that. Okay, so we'll have this herbal medicine, which doesn't actually appear to rot anymore, which is nice. And let's start building some more of the structure around this place. Okay, so we will. Um. Okay, what we're going to do is let's build. A passageway, build a passageway like this. Two, three, like that, and like that. And in fact, what we'll have here is we'll have three more rooms five, five and five and that will have a corridor going around here like this so that'll give us that'll give us six rooms in fact we'll dig one of those out immediately in fact let's get this going that means we're going to get less hauling done but it's not the end of the world and up here and possibly out here we are going to have um crafting and work just work rooms if you can get rid of another one of these uh um oh yeah you can't deconstruct them that way it seems to be a bit of a bug but if we deconstruct it like that there it goes group of pirates for the vengeance band have dropped right on us there they are wolf and spike wolf has a shiv Hmm. Okay. And Spike has the pistol. And I don't to be totally honest, I don't think I particularly want either of them. So where are I guys? Alright, Hay House is over there. What are you doing? That's an important job. I think we'll do without you for a moment. Towie and Lane, we'll draft you to you two come here. Right. Lane. You go here. Towie, you've got a shiv, which is not very useful. Um, you're not a brawler, so let's hope we can get you a, a decent weapon. But you fall back here and defend Lane. Yeah. Go on. You can do it. In fact, Towie, come here. There, Towie, come here. Equip the survival rifle, which... There, that'll do. One down. And where are you, Hay House? No, you're not going to reach you in time, are you? Okay, job done. Back to work. Undraft you. 
Undraft you. Alright, now. How do you equip wood? Okay, that's a new one. Looks like we can't strip this guy. That's because he's got nothing on him. Right. Okay. In which case, back to work with you. There we go. You throw that away. Throw that. Let's put that into storage. We'll sell that. We need to get trading sorted out, which is what we will probably do next. Um, yep, let's do that. Architecture, miscellaneous, comms console. So we'll put a comm console in there and an orbital trade beacon. If we just drop that there, that'll do nicely. Okay. And I think we're actually going to need to get someone to prioritize hauling. Yep, yeah, you're hauling him. Excellent. We don't want him lurking around. Hey, House, you missed all the fun. No, oh, let's get a third bed in here. Furniture, wooden bed. Like that. And... Right, we got that. Now the last of the basics. Let's get ourselves a research bench. Let's make it out of wood. Like that. And just for a little bit of role play sake, let's put a bench there and a bench there. It means they're going to sit and eat their dinner there for now, but uh, I think I quite live with that. So we're producing food nicely. Val is still floating around. Haven't quite got him recruited yet, but Hay House is doing his best. Actually, while we're thinking about it, what are you wearing? You're wearing just trousers. You have t-shirt and trousers. You have t-shirt and trousers. Um, one of the interesting things about this version is that uh, there is actually an, a, a great use for crafting, which is making clothes. If you notice, each, each of these clothes has um a a a, a, a uh, uh what's the word um in um quality now so this one's you know, sort of 98 percent. this one's 94 percent. as they wear down people start getting unhappy wearing them so while i'm thinking about it and as we seem to be on top of all the growing let's make a new growing zone we we'll just make it like that and then we will change that to cotton because it grows quite nicely and when we build up a stock of that we'll start looking about making clothes and things like that in fact now i stop to think about it that would actually make a nice crafting area wouldn't it now if we make a nice big room in there so we just uh let's just plan this out so we can room let's make it like that say that's got plenty of room for all the different crafting stuff and yeah, some storage. Yes, I quite like that. I think that's what we'll do. We can put a, put a door through. So let's say we put a door through there, say, and then you know, it's all part of the same area. So that room's quite warm. This room's quite warm. The bedrooms are nice and toasty. This is, yes, yeah, so that's, you see, this is, we're going to call it down. We are more or less frozen in there. Stuff will not spoil anymore, which means it's yeah, much easier for us to keep it. Uh, what the hell are these growing? They're growing quite nicely. In fact, I tell you what, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to smooth off that floor because I don't really want fungus growing in where I store my food. Detective the skateboard landing nearby. Right. LS, a chef. Um, got shot on the way down by the looks of it. So a fast walker, a pessimist, and a frostophobe. Right, the mood effect is not good, but but social ten is not bad. Okay, who we got? Hay house. Is doing some much needed hauling. Tawi, I think I'm going to uh, 
call upon you to rescue LS. There we go. Uh, we're probably going to need to find a bed for you, aren't we? So let's just put down a sleeping spot for now. And we'll get some more beds sorted out in a little while. There we go. No, oh, our cotton is now growing. Need research projects. What shall we do? Cremation would be a good start, to be totally honest with you. Um, uh, stone cutting, yeah, stone uh, stone cutting would be good. But I don't actually think it's like going to be my first requirement here. I'd like to get mortars, but. Yeah, until we actually start running into severe problems, it's not necessary. Let's do cremation. There we go. So, right, the colony's starting to come together. This is all being mined out nice. We've got a different type of stone there, limestone, as opposed to granites. They look about the same sort of toughness, so that's not really a great bonus for us. Here comes... LS, a group of so and so's is passing by. So, what are we going to do with LS? I'm really, really kind of intrigued now. So, oh, what we're going to do is apparently is strip the corpse and bury them somewhere. And in fact, to be totally honest with you, okay. Let's make some graves. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, that was unfortunate. We will have the kit off of them though. And if you would kindly strip LS, so we it's not a complete loss. We got some trousers, we got a shirt. Who doesn't have a shirt? Hay House doesn't have a shirt, so wear a Synthred t-shirt. There we go. Right. Bit of a shame, can't be helped. Right, build those, then we just change the rules on them. Okay, so storage. Clear all, allow buried corpses, humanoid corpses, and we don't want stranger corpses in there. Okay, and so we need to do the same for the rest of them. And we can't, we can't it would be really nice if we could do all that together. Clear all, buried corpses, human corpses, not stranger corpses. They go into the incinerator storage okay not stranger corpses okay and storage not stranger corpses there we go that's it okay we can now get rid of um ls there we go and get that bed freed up and then, I'm presumably after they've washed it and got rid of all the stains, someone else can sleep there. That was a bit of a shame. I, but I think we've actually won the record for shortest lived member of the uh, the colony. But never mind. Okay, right, well. I think our time is up. So, until the next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been the Rimworld. Thank you, and good night.